kind. So you, that's actually, a, uh, I can't say it. You can have wood, stone, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite pickaxes. There are a total of six different enchants that you can have on them. Curse of Vanishing, which is an enchantment or curse that will allow the item to disappear once the player dies. Efficiency, which allows the pickaxe to be a lot faster when in use. Fortune, which has the ability to give you multiples of items when mined. A prime example of this is redstone, iron, gold, and diamonds. There are more, but that's just a few examples for you. Unbreaking, which increases the durability of our tools. And Silk Touch, which allows us to pick up ores without breaking them into multiple parts. What I mean by that is that if you have a pickaxe with Silk Touch on it, you can pick up diamond ore, redstone ore, anything like that, and it's going to actually drop as an ore block. But then once you collect those and you can place them back down, you can then mine them with your fortune pickaxe to actually get multiple of whatever you're mining. So for multiple diamonds, I would use Silk Touch to gather up the ores and then fortune to gather up multiple diamonds. Also, if you haven't checked out my swords enchantment guide video, go ahead and click the card in the top right corner right now. To enchant your pickaxes with books that you find in your world, go ahead and take your pickaxe of your choice, throw that into the anvil and then find the book that you would like and then you can enchant it that way. Also keep in mind that the more enchants that you add to it, the more expensive it is going to be. So that's going to be a lot more to repair it, whether you're using materials such as diamonds or books and levels. You can actually spend one level to actually name your tools anything that you would like, which is also a really cool feature. And let's say you find a pickaxe that you don't really like the enchantments on it, but you want to keep the pickaxe itself. Just go ahead and throw that in a grindstone to remove any of the enchantments. You will get experience back from it so if it's a fully repaired tool then you will get a lot of them but you can't take these enchantments and put them on a book i've gotten that question quite a bit so but no you cannot take enchantments from tools and put them on books or onto other tools or items i don't know if this will ever be added to the game but if it is i look forward to it if not you know we'll keep going you can also enchant your pickaxe by using an enchantment table so we take our pickaxe and throw it in there we'll get a few different enchantments popping up over here and the numbers you see on the left are tied to how many levels it will cost to enchant it all we need to do is then take lapis lazuli which you get from mining and then click on whichever one that we want so if i wanted to spend three levels and get efficiency one i can go ahead and do that and i got efficiency one on my pickaxe and again if i wanted to re-roll the dice with the enchants and get rid of this one all i have to do is put that back in the grindstone to remove it but if I want better enchants, I can set up 16 bookshelves around an enchantment table just like this. Go ahead and pop my pickaxe in there and see a lot more options. We've got all three levels of efficiency. So we'll go ahead and take lapis again, and we're going to click on efficiency three. And there's always a chance that you can get more than one enchant on it. This time we got efficiency three and fortune two. Before I show you what enchants I prefer on my pickaxes, let me know in the comments down below, which ones do you prefer? Personally, my favorite pickaxe enchantments are Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 5, and Mending. It is pretty common to have two pickaxes, one with Silk Touch and one with Fortune, because Fortune and Silk Touch cannot be combined on the same pickaxe. YouTube thinks you guys will like these videos, so go ahead and click on one of those if you want to see more of my content, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out all the links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember, the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.